What's up guys, it's your boy, Stephen Blake, and welcome back to the channel. And as you saw from the video title, this is the big one. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck is the big one? Well, let me explain. I had this crazy idea to make an awesome, giant, big, fantastic, excellent collaboration video featuring all of my favorite YouTubers in the keto space. But I was thinking to myself, how do I actually kind of create that idea? What do I even do? How do I execute that? So really my big motivation and big idea was that why not create like this super awesome, inspirational, motivational, hype up video for people to get encouraged and motivated going into this next year. And instead of just hearing it from one person be me, I thought it'd be a really cool idea to have it be a collaboration and have everybody that I've kind of reached out to do something like this similar to encourage you, to motivate you, and for you to know that there is another option. So without further ado, I present the big one. Hey everyone, it's Stacy and Bill here from Bonsai Keto here on YouTube. This is our contribution to the big one. If you haven't started keto or you're just considering it, it's 2020. Do you want this? Are you ready to make a change? Are you ready to commit? Let's do this. Let's make 2020 your year. Let's make this the year that it happens for you. Bill and I started our keto journey just over a year ago, and we decided to document it on YouTube for motivation, and keeping us accountable. And because we're crazy. One of the big recommendations we encourage you to do, as uncomfortable as it might be, is to take pictures and measurements the day before you start your keto journey. That's not fun. And we were crazy enough to share them online. We had no idea where this journey would take us, but we knew if we documented it, measured, took weights, took pictures, which were painful to do, we would have something to reference as we moved forward. You're going to have those weeks where you're not going to have a weight loss or you're going to gain some weight, and that's okay. Because when you take your measurements and you do your pictures and you compare them, that's where you're going to see the non-scale victories. It's amazing. We've had weeks where I haven't lost anything weight wise, but I lost but your body changes. four to six inches and a whole pant size or top size that truly, truly is motivational when you do that. And for other people like me being a type two diabetic, I find victory in reducing medicines. I find victory in lower sugar. I find victory in less pain, less joint pain, less foot pain, less body pain and ache. I feel better. I feel younger. My heart rate has gone down. My cholesterol has gone down. My A1C has gone down. My medications are almost all gone. I was on five medications. Insulin plus four pills. I'm on one pill and I am on one fourth of the medication of that pill that I was for the last nine years. And it's not dieting. It's changing your lifestyle making it a choice of things that you eat and put in your mouth every day. You can do it on a regular budget. We don't have a ton of money that we spend extra on groceries, uh, but when you're not eating all the processed foods and buying all the convenience foods that get expensive. And eating out. We would drive yes. through a lot. We would order a lot of pizzas or things that were conveniently made. Stop at KFC or stop and, and, and I like KFC, don't get me wrong, but those things added up to a lot of bills. Another important thing is to meal prep and plan out your foods. Definitely. Not just your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner. Your snacks are just as important on meal prepping, especially if you work outside the home. Take your snacks with you. You'll save a ton of money on not eating out. True. You're going to eat healthier and you're going to see that weight come down. I find myself cooking. I've cooked more in the last year than I have in the 30 years that Bill and I have been together. That's true. <laughs> There's true. some great recipes out there. They're online. There are cookbooks that are out there. Get them from the library. You don't have to yep. buy the cookbook. Get it from the library. You it's can find free. so many on Pinterest, on Google, on YouTube. Everybody's doing recipes. You've done quite a few recipes. Yes. So yeah. keep the motivation going. Make 2020 your year. 
Know that there's a ton of support out there. If you don't have support from your family and friends, let it go in one ear and out the other, and you do you. Make it work for you. Know that there's a ton of us that are out there, here. and we're here. We've had questions. We've made friends along the way that we would have made had it not been for YouTube and keto. So don't be afraid. Put yourself out there. We're all here. We've been in your shoes and want to help you as much as we can. We've all had a day one. We've all started and didn't know what we were doing. And we've and we, heck, we're still learning. <laughs> it's a year later and we're still learning. But that's the beauty of it. There's, there's always an evolution of what can I try next? What should I try next? Right. Let's try this recipe. We have family recipes that were handed down for years that we just modified. We changed the flour to almond flour. Mm -hmm. We changed the, the sugar to swerve, yeah. you know, things, and we try it. And if it doesn't work, we tweak it. So stay positive. 2020 is going to be your year. Get support. If you don't have it from your family and friends or your doctor, get it online. Find us. Find other people who are here who are doing it. You'll find plenty of stories out there. And and we're all open to helping people. That's the best thing about this YouTube community. Everybody's so helpful and so nice. So reach out, ask a question or two, do some research, and you can make 2020 the year that this happens for you. I guarantee it. You won't regret it. Our only regret <laughs> was not starting it way earlier. Yeah, not doing it sooner. I spent almost 10 years of being on medicines and being a diabetic and thinking I was the victim and thinking that I was never going to get out from under being diabetic. I'm just so happy that I stopped listening to that. I stopped doing the things I thought that I needed to do as a diabetic and started to just take control and do my own thing. And that's made all the difference in the last year. Even my doctors have said, you just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing amazing. You control your destiny. You can make this journey what you want it to be and it's easier than you think. Don't be afraid. Again, if something doesn't work for you, try something different. If you haven't started keto or you're just considering it, it's 2020. Do you want this? Are you ready to make a change? Are you ready to commit? Let's do this. Let's make 2020 your year. Let's make this the year that it happens for you. Hey guys, Greg and Stacy here from Keizu Keto. We're super excited to be included in this big one collaboration with all these different keto YouTubers. Awesome, what an honor. Super cool. Stacy and I own 2019. We lost over 200 pounds doing the ketogenic diet. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of things that led us up to the point where we started that. I was almost 400 pounds and feeling miserable, having a hard time putting my socks and shoes on. Um, and I was literally wearing sweatpants every day just because I was uncomfortable. It sucked. I've lost 125, she's lost 80, and we are feeling amazing. But we didn't always start that way. We had to own it. Yes. We had to do it right, we did keto, we did it our way, but we did tons of research on it to try to figure out the best, but okay, be, the best way to do it, right? The best way to us. We did all three different variations of the keto diet, the dirty keto, the lazy keto, and of course the healthy clean keto, which we started with. And we definitely recommend that first. And we've hybrid, hybrided it. Yeah, we've hybrided it. And we still enjoy occasional treat once in a while, uh, but it's keto approved, guys. Yes. So we've never gone off plan. I've gone okay, off. Not never. I've gone off one time. Stacy's gone off one time as well. Just one Oreo did bad things. Moment of weakness is perfectly fine. Just get back on that train and ride it through. Yep. That's the most important part. If you happen to cheat, if you happen to change, if you happen to snack, that's okay. Just get back on the train and keep it to the destination. All right, guys. So 2020 is your year. It is your year to, to do what you've been putting off. It's, it's your a new decade. It's a new decade. It's a new, new decade. decade. Yep. So you guys can totally do it. You guys can just put your put your nose to the grindstone. I think that's a term my grandparents used to say, grindstone. I'm not sure what they were grinding, but it's something probably pretty nasty if they're trying to get rid of it. I think you can also sharpen your swords and stuff that way too. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, to the grindstone, guys. Just do it. And just right? do it every day. Every day. Every day the is- best, The best that you can do every day. Absolutely. If you wake up with that attitude, you can do anything. Literally anything, except fly. You can't fly unless you're on a plane. 
Yeah. Yeah, and I think that I, it does. It applies to anything. It's not just keto. Anything that you are thinking about doing, anything you've put off doing, why not? Just just do it. Just start it. Just do it. Nike was on top of something when they said that. Don't don't let anything hold you back. Whatever you do, make sure you have a support network, whether it's your significant other, someone else in your home, friends, family, online friends, us will support you. No matter what it is, make sure you build up that support network. So this video is all about inspiration. I'm inspired. We want to inspire you. We want all the other YouTubers in this video to inspire you. 200 pounds, guys. That's like a whole person. And then some. Yeah. And Stacy's cooking this year. Like, that's completely different. That's if that's true. not inspiring, I don't know what is. Because I don't have to do all the heavy lifting anymore with cooking. So. Yeah, not only that, but how many different things have I tried this year food-wise? A lot. A lot. How many things have you tried? A few. A few. A few. But a lot, you know? <laughs> this is coming from... 15 years ago, all I ate was chicken strips from, you know. And British. now you can't even have them. I can't. No, I mean, I you can. can. You can make your own. I stopped eating them a long time ago. It's but. true. So stay tuned for the rest of the YouTubers. Listen to their message and leave us a comment down below on what you plan to start. New year, new decade, new life. Own it. Hello and happy new year, everyone. I am so excited to be a part of this amazing collaboration with some of the best keto greats here on YouTube. My name is Tammy and I'm from a channel called Keto Chaos or Keto in the Chaos, whichever way you like to um, call it. I'm super excited to inspire you guys to get started on your new life. Wait a minute. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, um, that's better. It's New Year's for you. It's still Christmas for me. No, I am not playing Mrs. Claus, though I'm definitely old enough to play Mrs. Claus. I just returned home from my third performance in the Nutcracker Ballet. Now, I'm definitely not one of the prima ballerinas doing pirouettes on point shoes, but I am acting as one of the party parents in the party scene, actually dancing and participating in the Nutcracker Ballet with my children, which is a dream of 15 years that I have achieved this year because of a ketogenic way of eating. Because my life has changed so much over the course of the last three years that it doesn't even look the same. I don't look the same. I don't feel the same. And I am here to tell you guys that your life can change for the better too. And you could make 2020 your year of chasing your dreams. Would you believe that just three years ago, I was approaching 400 pounds. I am five foot seven inches and I was wearing a size 4X shirts. I was to the point where I couldn't even find pants that would fit me anymore. And so I spent half of my life in a black and white muumuu dress that I pretty much wore almost every single day. I'm going to stick a picture in here for you guys to see what that looked like. <laughs> And look at me now. You can hardly tell it's the same person. On January 1st, 2017, I was desperate for change. I was desperate for an answer. I was looking up surgeries. I was on my knees begging God to help me find a way out of my misery because I was so, I was having such difficulty walking the stairs, taking my kids to dance classes, spending hours sitting in chairs that I didn't fit into. I was scared when I got into the bathtub that I wouldn't be able to get out on my own and that I was going to ask, have to ask my kids for help. There were so many things that were hard about my life. I was having digestive issues. I was afraid to leave the house for fear that I wouldn't be able to find a restroom. I was in a bad, bad place. But on January 1st, 2017, I fell into a way of eating that just somehow found me. God gave it to me and it changed my life. And I, I am here to tell you guys that you can change your life too. The very first year on a ketogenic way of eating, I lost 138 pounds in a year. Since then, I have spent a lot of time practicing maintaining my weight, going back and forth between maintaining my weight on keto and trying to lose on keto. And I have successfully lost 200 pounds. 
200. I hit the 200 mark in September of 2019, just a short two and three quarter years after, after finding keto as a way of life. I am here to tell you that if I can do this, anybody can do this. I am a 45 year old mother of nine children. I run two YouTube channels, a part-time photography business, and I am a dance mom of seven competition dancers. If I can find a way to fit keto into my life and make it work for me, you have every hope of being successful. I hope that you will watch this video and get excited about the new year. Make 2020 the year you put hindsight in the rear. Don't let 2020 pass you by. This could be your year to chase your dreams. There's more to weight loss than just the way you look. Everything about your life could be completely different and you could be heading in a whole new direction in a little less than a few months. I hope that my words have excited you and inspired you to make a change in your life. Let me know if I can help you out and be sure to subscribe to all of our channels for great and motivating videos on how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you again soon. <laughs> Beep! <laughs> <laughs> love you guys thank you for watching are you ready to take care of you are you ready to put yourself first are you ready to change your life i'm here to tell you that it can be done you can change your life you can put yourself first and not feel like you're being selfish i know as moms as dads as people we always feel like we need to take care of others but if we do not take care of ourselves the others in our circle are going to be neglected. They are not going to be getting the full you that you can be, the best version of yourself. If you want to make the best version of yourself, whether that be keto, whether that be a weight loss journey, whether that be a profession and a job or a goal that you have in mind for yourself, you have to take care of you first. It's never too late to change your life. It's never too late to strive and have a goal for yourself. You're never too old to obtain something. You can always reach something if you put your mind to it. It all starts with you. You have to get over yourself. You have to get over those mental demons that you have in your mind. You have to make the change for you. You have to find your why. You have to figure out how you're going to do this for yourself. No one's going to do it for you. It's not going to be easy. I'm here to tell you that. It's going to be hard. You're going to have moments where you want to quit and not just one moment, but several moments. You're going to have moments where you want to cry and curl up in your bed and not come out. You're going to have moments where you don't want to see anybody because you feel like you have failed. But guess what? You have made the decision to better your life, whatever that may be. You have made the decision to do better for you. So all those moments are human moments. We have them. You have to be able to fall down to pick yourself up. And if you don't fall down and pick yourself up, you're never going to learn how to. So it is only human nature and it's only the process of how this is going to work. Today is the day that you can change your life. Today is the day that you can find yourself again. Today is the day that you're going to be the best version of of your possible self. No excuses. No excuses anymore. There is no I can't. There is no I won't. There is no tomorrow I'll do it. There is no next week, next Monday, January 1st of next year. Today is the day. It doesn't matter what day it is. Make the change now. Make the decision now. Better yourself and be that better version of you right now. Whatever you set your mind to, y'all, you can accomplish. It is all mental. It is nothing physical. Once you get over yourself, get out of your own head, anything can be done over time. Anything can be done with dedication. Anything can be done with the motivation and the will that you set for yourself. Surround yourself with positive vibes. Surround yourself with positivity, positive, like-minded people like you, people that have the same goals, the same dreams, the same aspirations as you. Get all the negative Nellies out of your life because they're just going to bring you down. They're just going to stray you away from your end result and your goals, and you're not going to get there. So get only positive thinking in your space all the way around. I'm so excited to see what goals and dreams you have for yourself and to see you actually crush them, to blow them out the water, to just smoke those dreams and goals and obtain them and be the best version of you. 2020 is going to be the big one, y'all. 
Let's get it. Hey, what's going on you guys? I am Michelle Rock from Miss Rock Gets Fit on Instagram, Adapting to Keto on Facebook, and Michelle Rock on YouTube. Happy New Year! So we're bringing in 2020, and if you guys are just now like jumping on the keto wagon, jump on and don't get off. My advice is to do an elimination diet, so keep it very simple and clean, eggs, meat, chicken, like broccoli, cauliflower, things like that to start, or if you wanna eliminate the veggies, like, you know, keep it very minimal, just do salads with some yummy fatty dressings. But if you are somebody that needs to like dwindle yourself down, just do what you have to do to make keto a lifestyle. When I started, I was doing carb smart ice cream, low carb tortillas, and you know, four and a half years later, I just know that that stuff doesn't work. It really just depends on your personal journey. For me, I have carb cravings, sugar addiction, and I didn't even realize it until way later. My recommendation to you guys is to do keto, do whatever it takes to keep going. Don't get discouraged when after two, three weeks you drop a whole bunch of weight and then you know, you're know you not losing a whole bunch of weight the next week and the next week and the next week. You want to make it a gradual process. It's a lifestyle change. Don't compare your journey to others. I've learned so much in four and a half years. When I started my journey, I was almost 260 pounds and I thought that I would never lose the weight. I knew the place I was standing when I finally thought, I know I'm gonna do this, I'm going to do it. And then I did it, I lost 110 pounds, but then I gained 40 back because I didn't manage my stress well. I didn't have a solid relationship with food. I still had cravings and that sort of thing. And even though I went dairy-free keto, I did very strict clean keto. I've done so many different kinds of keto and I encourage you to try it out on yourself. You know, I started out dirty keto and then I progressively cleaned it up as I went. It's not something that's just gonna be perfect overnight. It's going to be a gradual change and it's gonna be different for everybody. As long as you're open to not giving up when things get hard and to keep up on your electrolytes and to drink, plenty of water and to, you know, make sure you're eating nutrient dense foods and, you know, I eat liver on a regular basis. Love it. So I just want to say welcome to the keto community. We're here for you guys. I'm here for you guys. And I hope that you all have a great 2020. Change your lives. You can literally change your life. It just takes one day at a time, one step at a time, one bite at a time. And just remember that you're the one feeding yourself. So make sure that it's something that's going to make you feel good. And by good, I mean physically and emotionally, because we all know that when we take that bite of something that's bad for us, and it just, for some of us, it's really detrimental to our mental health. So just do what's best for you. It's your journey, take your time, keep learning. And if you're somebody that struggles with cravings, it's best to keep it simple. Don't cheat, cheat. And just make it a lifestyle and you'll see that over time, you'll feel better and better and better and cheating will just make you feel worse. And if you incorporate your cheat meals into your lifestyle because you're there and you don't have that like mental struggle with food, then that's great. So keep doing what you're doing. We are all capable of becoming way healthier with the keto lifestyle and I'm just so happy to be part of this community. So yeah, happy 2020 everybody and I'll see you when I see you. Peace. You can change your life. You can turn back the clock 10 years or more. You can start living a life without pain. You can have a level of energy and level of mental clarity that you didn't think were possible. You can get results that you would think would require drugs or some sort of magic to do, and you can do it all through a change in your diet and lifestyle. So what's stopping you? As you think about your excuses, the reasons that you've told yourself in the past, you can't do this, they all have one thing in common. They're coming from you. There's no one out there telling you what you can or can't do. You can absolutely change your life if you believe in yourself and if you're committed to following through. Those two things form this virtuous circle where they reinforce one another. You need the belief to get going. You need the commitment to stay going, but then you'll start seeing results and that will fuel your belief, which fuels your commitment. And then you start hitting a point where you don't 
recognize that person anymore that you used to be, that person who made excuses. Those excuses don't seem to matter anymore. They don't hold up. It's important to know that you're not alone in all of this. We're all fighting the same fight. There has never been a better time to go keto or any other variation of low carb. There is a community of content creators, of people that are providing recipes and information and motivation and inspiration that you can access at any time. There's also all of the people that are in the same situation as you, trying to live the best life that they can live. So think about your excuses, the self-talk that tells you why you can't do this and shift it. Instead of saying, I can't because, say, what would it take so that I could? If you're ready to make a change, a profound change in your life, in your lifespan, in your health, in your mood, we're here to help you. We've got your back. This year is going to be a big one for you. What's up guys? I'm Jess and I'm from Keto Rewind. I was lucky enough to be included in this, the big one, <laughs> collaboration and I was going to share my story with you and give you a couple tips to get your own journey started. On February 11th, 2019, I weighed 309 pounds on my five feet, eight inch tall frame. And here's a before picture. Yep, that was me. Nine and a half, ten-ish months ago, that was me on day one. I, would, I was feeling miserable, tired, exhausted. I, I couldn't keep up with my kids. I just started hiding and hiding and hiding from life. And being an emotional eater, all of those things made me sad, so I would eat, and then I would be sad again, and it was just this vicious cycle that I just could not get out of. It, out of. I have tried every possible way in the world to lose this weight, but there were some few key things that I'm going to share with you that really made the difference and why this time it was going to be a check in the, the win column for me. So. After trying every diet in the book and failing, I knew that this time, <laughs> failing wasn't an option. I needed to figure this out at any cost and that was going to be it because my general doctors were all throwing those big words around like you need a bariatric surgery. I have a genetic heart defect that my cardiologists were even saying, hey, if you can't get this weight off, you need to do bariatric surgery. Um, I just everything everything was just not cool back then and I, I being an emotional eater that just made me eat more <laughs> and then I didn't realize I had a sugar addiction back then until now um, but as you go through this journey and you decide to change your life you will learn so much about yourself you will find so much strength that you don't or didn't think you even had, you will return to that person that you once were, but this time stronger, better, and even more great. And that's the part that makes me so excited to share my story and my journey. Um, I have lost 95 pounds in nine and a half to 10 months. Don't quote me because I haven't done my calculator how many months. So it's somewhere between nine and a half and 10 months. But in, in 44 weeks, I have lost 95 pounds off my body. And I feel like a completely different person. I feel like a better version of myself. And all of that is because I lived by one motto and that's you can't pour from an empty cup. I got to 309 pounds by putting everybody else in my family and my friends and jobs and everything else first. And I would, it was so much easier to cut from me and my time for me, my, my needs, than to cut anywhere else in 
the pie, the slice of pie or the cup, you know? So, but that got me to 309 pounds. You can't do that. There's 24 hours in a day and I'm going to tell you now, you can find time to change your life. And a little bit every day means that you will be where you want to be <laughs> a year from now. There's no time like the present. There's no perfect time. And it's never going to be perfect. And well, I should say your, your weight loss journey as a whole, what you may envision it to be, it will be so, it will be such a hot mess. And that's the beauty of it because you think it's going to go a certain way, but then this is keto and keto does it different. So you have to have some faith and some trust in the process and stick to it. So my, I'm going to give you five tips to get you going. And the first one is don't be the victim. You have to be the hero of your own story. And being a hero of your own story means you research, do your own research, you plan ahead of time for everything from a menu to having snacks on board, on hand, um, where you go for restaurants that have keto friendly recipes, everything. And that is such a big part of this puzzle. You cannot just trust anybody else. Um, you can't just wing it. You've got to be prepared and you have to plan. And then that also means that you have to learn these things. You have to learn how to track macros. You have to learn what you can and cannot eat. What, you know, you've got to learn so much stuff and you've got to take that time. You owe it to yourself because you can't pour from an empty cup. If you don't take that time, you cannot expect to change your life. And by changing your life, that means you're ripping the rug out from under it and you're going on a different direction. And that direction is to health. <laughs> you're not going to ride the obesity train anymore. So by not being the victim, you no longer have excuses of why you, it, it's, you don't have time or why you can't get this food or why you can't afford it or why you can do it. Don't accept those can excuses. You need to show up and be the hero of your own story. The second one is give yourself realistic goals. I was 140 pounds overweight. Currently in my journey, I have 39 more pounds to lose. But I, 140 pounds of excess weight that got me morbidly obese didn't happen overnight. It took me 12 years to get that big. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to lose it all in six weeks. So by setting this massive weight loss goal of 140 pounds, you're, that's just, that's, it's going to take too long and you're going to lose focus. You've got to divide that up into either monthly goals, weekly goals, or in my case, I just broke it into three goals. 50 pounds loss, 100 pounds loss, and goal weight. So that makes a much smaller, more manageable goal that you can hit quicker. So that is one of the main things. Don't, it gets so overwhelming if you look at how much you have to lose if you're like me who was more of the obese. So by bringing it down and working with smaller goals, it seemed like you were gonna hit those faster and then that, that just keeps you going. So my third one is, this one is like, if you're like me, I have tried every diet possible, every lifestyle, every pill, every, every way of living, every plan, carbs, no carbs, sugar, no sugar. I've tried them all. But the more times you try to lose weight, you will eventually win. So just because maybe you've done keto before in the past and you lasted two weeks, no big deal. Do it again. Now you've got two weeks experience in your, in your belt. Try again. The more times you do it, the more chances you have you're going to win. So you basically need to never give up. If you have a slip up, if you go off plan, you take a vacation, no big deal. Be better the next meal. Start from the basics, start with your, and, and move on that progress. But you've got you've to snap out of it and get back to work. And just because you fail once doesn't mean the rest of your journey is going to be perfect. I have gained and lost probably 40 extra pounds in this journey right now based off of vacations, slip-ups, cheats, holidays. But you know what? I'm 95 pounds down because I didn't give up. And I kept trying. And I just was better at the next meal. The next one is find support. 
I needed this YouTube channel, for, I needed my, my YouTube channel as a form of support, a form of community with like-minded individuals that are all in the same boat as me and we lean upon each other and give each other strength, cheer each other on and pick each other up when we are having those moments and that having a support system is so so important and if, especially if you can't get that at home with a spouse or a family member or whoever you live with if they're not keto or don't agree with keto you've got to find a support system at the minimum so for me i have support at home and i also have support online and those two things are what works for me but you have to find a way that works for you in a support community and or a best friend an adult child somebody that you can go through these emotions with these victories with these shortfalls with you know your 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 mess you know all that stuff you need somebody that you can talk to and my last tip you've got to own this like it kind of goes along with the first tip um, if you would have told me nine and a half ten months ago I was going to be where I am today I would have said you're crazy I can't do it I would have found every excuse in the book because if I didn't try I couldn't fail but this time around, I owned every part of this, and this is my journey, and I wanted to share that you can do this too. It do, you don't have to be a fitness expert. You don't have to be a medical doctor. You don't have to be a trained professional. Anybody can do this. You just want it have, you just have to want it bad enough, and you've got to be willing to put in the work. And I wanted to add a little side note. Um, it's not going to be easy. I'll be honest. My channel is about sharing the raw truths of losing this much weight and if one thing I can say for certain it's not going to go as planned and it's not going to be pretty but you have to have faith in the process you've got to believe in yourself and you've got to pick yourself up when you fall off and if you can just do those things a year from now six months from now you can do it and I want you to know that you can do it and pay attention to all those non-scale victories along the way you have the ability to write the story to your own book. So now's the time. Don't wait anymore. Get out there, find some good books, find a support system, and learn how to track those macros. And read, read, read all you possibly can, and you will have this too. So I hope, um, I hope that was inspiring. I hope you know that somebody like me who was an emotional eater, a sugar addict, um, busy mom of two uh just just in general life i was able to do it and i didn't think i could so roll up those sleeves and get it done and go out and be better so i just want to say best wishes you can do it and if i if you want to see more videos like this hey come on over to keto rewind <laughs> i've been where you're standing I have been at the start of a new year facing the most momentous journey that I've ever been on and I succeeded. I reached my goal and I am now 100 pounds lighter and I've kept it off. But the way I did it was one day at a time. I told myself every day, today you are going to eat keto, tomorrow you can have whatever you like. And every morning I told myself that. And day after day after day, I stuck with it and I reached my goals. But I did it just one day at a time. It can be really scary when you're facing this kind of momentous journey. I know because I've been there. But the fear of spending the rest of your life feeling how you feel right now is such a great motivational tool. Use it. Write down how you are feeling today and every day go back and read that and see how far you have come. Find people who are living the same journey you are, who are starting, who are in the middle of it and people like me who have got most of their goals ticked off. Look at the stories, look at the pictures, listen to the podcasts, look at the videos, whatever you need to do to remind yourself why you are doing this. And that word is key to your success. Why? Whenever you're faced with temptation, whenever you feel like giving up, ask yourself, why are you on this journey? 
Hey y'all, my name's Misty and I'm from Simply Misty. I hope you guys make the year 2020 your clean slate if you need to. Just show up, be the person that you wanna be. Doesn't matter if it's in your career, in your health journey, in your weight loss goals, even within your family, maybe you have goals that you wanna reach. You will have good days, you will have bad days, just don't let those bad days define you. Have faith in how far you can take this, and also trust the timing of when things happen. And then when things happen, take pride in that. Own that, and be proud of your accomplishments. For instance, my first year on keto, which was in 2018, I lost 60 pounds. I killed it. I felt amazing. Then this last year, I took a little bit more of a relaxed approach. I still stayed keto. I still, you know, worked out, but I just, like I said, I just took a little bit more of a relaxing approach and I maintained my weight. But this year, 2020, I am ready to cross that finish line. And guess what? This year is not only a brand new year in 2020, it is a new decade. So let's do this together. Can I get a group fist bump? Hey friends, the pain of remaining the same is worse than the pain of changing. Friends, for 2020, my hope and prayer for you is that you will suck up the pain, even though it's not really painful, and make the changes that you wanna make in your life. The pain of remaining the same becomes greater then changing, you'll make the changes that you need to do. I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and I am cheering you on, I am praying for you, and I'm thinking about you. Sending lots of love for 2020.